continue with the transformer uh, jobs uh, functions we are going to see now some string functions and uh, some kind of functions so after that we will uh, cover uh, um, one scenario a very important scenario in the looping variables we will cover these looping variables so these are the date functions that we seen and uh, but uh, those are the date functions that we have so okay so coming to some string functions we have the category of string and in the string functions we have where a basic one first i'll start with very basic like upcase i hope uh, you might people understand but still i just want to go through uh, uh, the concepts uh, once again the functions so upcase lo low case i mean we have the name upcase down case okay what i'll do i'll just give the string here itself i don't want to take input column because i don't have any uh, small case values for example i'm giving myself my name okay so this is a small case so upcase function what does it do it will convert this small case string it into string into upcase so the other way i'll just type the copper case value upper case value so now we will see the values will be how they will be populated the functions will work on small case to up case and up case to small case so these are the functions uh, will make uh, of course i did not give the naming i'm sorry i'll change the names this value will be in up case and this value will be in low case so dslim 4 is my output so when i uh, complete run of this flow i'll get the output of dslim 4 with the uh, three columns as i draw from uh, source emp number emp number job got aborted we'll see the reason why and before mean, meantime i'll just give the log we'll see the log from here if you try to understand it it will be easy no input short key information found the department allowable decimal don't short more okay uh, i got the problem so thing is like sometimes uh, you know uh, the transformer with last row handling functions i have uh, uh, sorted the data based on department number so the same problem is getting reflected so in some cases will happen in this way then you need to replace the transformer not only transformer some other stages for example you have uh, uh, any concept uh, which is reflecting with the previous errors means for example in before the session in the previous session to this session we discussed with the last row handling functions in last row handling function what we have done we have done with uh, department number sorting so before doing the sorting the job got aborted i hope you remember so in that case that same error is reflecting still so that is the case what i did i just removed that uh, partitioning before only we removed but still it is getting reflected so i just replaced the transformer with a new one i replaced the transformer with the new transformer we'll see whether it is going to overwrite now or not of course it should be overrated so now it is uh, overwritten but uh, the job is success whether we will see the output will be as expected or not it should be expected as expected
see so up case is becoming uh, making uh, the input small case into upper case and the down case which is will give an upper case that will be taking in the lower case so this is our functionality of the functions upper case and the lower case okay i'll add some more columns some more functions within the same okay compact white space strip white space some people in interviews may ask you the difference between compact white space and a strip white space so you should understand the name uh, what is okay see compact white space i'll give the string function i'm sorry i'll add the string okay this is the string i am giving for both the functions compact white space i am giving and i am giving to strip white space even the same code i'll give the same input i'll give for strip white space even we'll see how the result will be based on that we can identify what is the difference between a compact white space and a strip white space this is compact white space and this is strip white space compile run up case down case this is one set i mean they both are some equally they work that is the reason we have uh, discussing in that way the combinations compact white space and strip white space this is another combination so see compact white space what happen it is giving the same uh, input i guess but okay i'll tell you no it's not the correct thing compact white space will work will work again see strip white space it will not take any space at all it will not take any space at all and one more thing uh, the input which i given to compact white space is somewhat different that is the reason it is giving the value uh, i shouldn't do that i need to provide in this way okay what i felt is uh, the spaces it will one second see i'll just give the string what i need to provide i'll tell you so if i say rajesh and space i'm giving with my name what happens within two words it will remove the spaces how much value it has and this will strip white space will not okay strip white space we have seen right it removed all the spaces strip white space will remove all the white spaces and compact white space also removes but it will have one one space altogether okay what i will do before also for each letter it has given for each letter it has given only one space that letter it is taking but as we are uh, giving as letter but it is taking as a word okay now strip white space the result will be the same before as we given as we i have we got before the same way it will retrieve the, the data but now compact white space will work in other way see the rajesh the spelling uh, between the two words rajesh and apuri then space is completely how many are there those all it is going to remove and give only one space compact white space will remove all the extra spaces but gives one space between the words 
before what i given each word i have given the space so because of that what happened it treated uh, every word every letter as a word that is the reason it took only one space see no the input before i given how the space and uh, not before before means like in the input i given just a lot of spaces i given between the two words but now it got into one word so rajesh apuri within strip white space space is same strip white space is output is same it will not give even one space but compact white space will give one space between the words between the words okay again i want to go for functions this is what compact strip wise compact white space strip white space okay <clears throat> okay count i'll take i'm taking as input column employee name and i'm going to find a substring like uh a i'm going to find a substring as a means within enum column how many within enum column how many a's are there means in each uh, in each enum i'll just pull out enum also enum is already present no because this uh, function i have used that is the reason it is showing the output but the column i did not uh, pull so now i pulled the column so compilation is going on and now we are going to run the job okay so this is what we need to check so these are the basic functions uh, that we have within the uh, transformer string functions and date functions also are there date functions uh, will work okay so i don't found a anywhere here see ln a is there but i am getting zero because because it is in lower case so what i will do i will use another function i'll use an means i can write directly a also but what i'll do i'll write a function which function up case function within the function i'm writing see now up case of a that up case capital small a i'm writing directly i can write a Uh, capital A even, but still I just want to show two functions. How can we write? That is the reason I am writing within the function. Now I get the count. Now I'll get the count between E name for E name in the E A letters in the E name. See, I got a as a length. Before I got only zeros, only zeros. Because small a I have given, it is not at a finder anywhere. That is the reason we got zero. But now if I give upper case, up case of a, then I got count. So this is what uh, the up case and the so up case this function is used. And later we used the count function even. Now we have d count also. We will see the difference between count and d count. okay so in the session in the next session i'll discuss and coming to the the functions which we have the other functions like uh, date and time functions according to the date values if you require insurance companies mostly use the date and time functions mostly the clients the project last row handling we have seen it is very simple to understand current date it will give the current date we will not have enough time to discuss this all that is the reason we are just wind up thing okay see date from days since if you give the number and the date date from days means you give the number and give the date for example number if i provide 7 and if i am providing today's date the next week of the day will be the output 
the next week of the day will be the output so like that we can within if you just place that function in the derivation part of stage variable or constraint or in the derivation tab you get the fun formula you can apply with the number and with the calls with the name itself you can understand the functionality of that function and you can use okay this is very simple so like this you can use this uh, functions uh, date and time functions and some other functions number functions and all some important functions where regularly we use in uh, real time cases those functions we are discussing date and time functions yes of course we, we use in the real time but due to that time sufficient we are not discussing with the date and time uh, so uh, just to practice i'll tell i'll give you the i have given you the scenario okay just formula how to apply and all okay so this is what about uh, the function string functions in this section and the next function next session we will discuss with some more functional functions and some important functions and scenarios that we see and later on we'll go for looping variables and close the transformer concept within the data stage okay so see you in the next session thank you for watching this video